Dabei kommt Green Mega Ego. Hey, Link folks, this will be this will be Underground Workshop Bunker Part Two. Um, interesting stuff going on. I'm just I'm just currently building a uh, control box. Um, yeah, start start getting organised with electrics. Um, I got the the winch. I'm going to convert to an infrared control so I can. I can ride on it up and down the hull. Yeah, that'd be good. But um, the cheapest way I could figure out of doing that was to use a uh, winch controller for a four before. So like that's they cost a tenner. You get the um, you get these things. Get these things. Uh, get these things. Um, you know, two handsets, which are pretty cool, and then just uh, just a box with the antenna poking out the side. Yeah. Um, but this is 12 volts and then I really wanted everything to be 24 volts but the, the winch is already 240 volts AC uh, this is 12 DC obviously um, I really wanted everything to be 24 volts um, don't really mind the fact that this is 12 because the winch is 20, 240 anyway so that's but that, that's not going to stay there forever you know once once the uh, once the, the James Bond super villain workshops finished um, everything needs to be 12 volt, 24 volts. <laughs> like I say, I'm getting confused here. Isn't it? Um, and so uh, I've been been buying some cheapy pumps off eBay, which are all 24 volts. So at the minute, I'm looking at you know three different voltages, um, uh, and it all needs to be switched as well, just for safety's sake, and probably a couple of breakers on the, the higher output stuff. Um, what? Uh, so I don't. Don't get electrocuted down that mosquito-infested hellhole that I've just created, you know. Uh, so, so yeah, I'm, I'm making the box. I'm also making some um, some shoes that I found. Uh, I see see them on 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 Google and that. They're they're um, some ancient shoes found in Ireland that are specifically for, for designed for digging in uh, very thick mud. So, uh, you know, that that would be interesting to try. Um, yeah, I'll get those bits done and then catch up with you by the hole. Uh, the digging at the minute, I've I've been experimenting with um, using using the groundwater itself to to pump the soil out, which is kind of working. It's a bit slow. I'll show you what I'm doing there. But basically, I've, I've got a jet washer over there as well. So once the once the water's come up the hole a bit, um, I'll then take the jet washer to it and you know really really turn turn um, turn it into a you know mud soup and then pump it out but it's slow you know the water's got to come out anyway but uh, if it can bring a bit of soil out that's that's cool but um, I think I'm going to try this for a little bit um, and then try completely drying it out so sink a pump down a, a four foot hole um, and keep that running on on float switches uh, I probably won't do that this video, but I'll, I'll keep that running on float switches 24 hours a day, and hopefully it'll dry out the sort of surrounding area in it. Um, you know, whenever whenever the four foot hole gets a foot of water in it, then it will run the pump, pull that water out, um, and eventually that entire area is just going to dry out a bit, isn't it? Uh, it'll, it'll always need to be on uh, until I get the hole lined with, with waterproof concrete. But um, what? Well, yeah, that's what we're looking at. I'll, I'll see you over by the hole in a minute, right? It'll be an hour or two for me, but yeah, whatever.
Okay, so this is the uh, what, what's that screw from? Where are you from? Oh, in there. Okay, this is the um, starter capacitor and um, switch box control box for the the mains AC winch I've got above the hole at the minute. Um, what I want to do. Leave that over there. Is get it working with this 12 volt um, winch remote system. So it's meant for a 4x4 that I got because it's very cheap. Uh, and I've got a load of solid state relays. I think I think I can do it with with that. I don't know if I'll even need four to be honest. I'm not I'm not a hundred percent with AC. Like I've spent my whole life working on low volt DC um, like professionally well you get paid for it anyway <laughs> um, but what I know enough that when I when I see a capacitor yeah you've always got to short the fucking thing out because I you know um, rather than rather than knowing every single instance and whether or not that capacitor is going to discharge where um you know where it is in the circuit with the power off I always put something across them just because like I say I'm not an AC man but either way um, I reversed AC motors before like it's not that difficult all, all you've got to do is switch the basically switch the polarity of the um, of the capacitor uh, so you there's a Separate set of windings, or I think there is. I don't, this is the, this is what's messing me up a bit because I can't see without pulling the whole winch down again, which I don't want to do because it's heavy and it's a bastard to get up there, and pulling the back off the motor again, which I don't want to do because that means taking the motor off the gearbox because the bolts go all the way through to the gearbox. Um, so without doing that, I can't 100% okay me with the uh, with the wiring on this. So I'm just going to try and pull this apart and figure out what's going on, and then. See if I can make this work. Oh, now, Ricky, that was a perfectly good turkey. Now, come on, let's go get it. We'll put it on the barbecue. It's fine. Burn, somebody's fucking trying to kill me. Ricky, come on. Careful, it's wet there. Oh. There's a wide up. Um, look at that work of art, eh? <laughs> This is the antenna. Uh, I don't know if I can extend this, but I'm going to try and extend it and just put a bit poking out above the hole in that. And then we've got a transformer and the um, receiver for the for the what's the name on the back there, and the solid states on the front there. And then the original the original cover that used to house the capacitor and that that's no longer got the capacitor in it. That's on the side here, obviously, and. These wires here. It's pissing down the rain outside. I'm not going to take my new camera outside, but um, I want to go and put this on, and then hopefully there'll be a stop in the rain sometime, and I can show you what goes on with this if it hasn't blown up first. Eh? <sighs> so we've got it back on the bench, and of course the first thing we do is try and get all the death out of the capacitor but it won't reach Poop. I was able to just short it out on that one there um, yeah let's put something else in the circuit let's make it let's make it deadlier go on touch God, I fucking hate that. Okay, <laughs> that, that would have been my finger otherwise, isn't it? Let's, let's figure out what's going on here. I just fucking hate AC. Okay, this is the this is the fourth or fifth attempt. <laughs> um, it hasn't worked so far. Uh, what, what I'm what I'm going to try now is 
not switching the uh, capacitor at all so that's that's hooked up to one and three on the motor um, permanently the, the the live is hooked up to number two and then the relays are simply switching the neutral between one and three on the motor yeah um, the the original the original setup put the put the capacitor through the switch um, I, I might, there might just be to prevent arcing of the switch um, or it might be for safety reasons uh, you know I, I don't know either way like maybe one of you can, can tell me like I'd really appreciate it actually because I've, I've already done a significant amount of <laughs> learning right to get to this point um, I mean this is what I would have gone for in the first place if I hadn't tried switching the capacitor um, and I'm not even 100% sure my wiring was good. Uh, yeah, I've been through it several times, and then I changed the changed the wiring completely to something different. Um, you know, all, all the same thing, all the same thing. You know, switching the capacitor and and uh, switching the neutral at the same time. But either way, let's uh, let's go and see if this works. I hope it does because I'm uh, my patience is wearing thin on this now. You know. Okay, well, I got the winch working, as you saw. Um, very happy, very happy. Bit of a mind fuck, but um, you know, I learned several things um, that I didn't previously understand. So that's good. So it's good when you learn something, isn't it? And now the now the simplest setup is the one that actually works. Uh, I'm happy. Um, about the whole uh, wet wet pumping is not working. My next attempt is going to be completely dry out the surrounding area. Yeah, so I'm talking pumps in there running 24 hours a day. Uh, I'm going to make a couple of couple of um, float circuits, so they'll turn a pair of pump systems on. Um, but that'll be the next video anyway. But um, <clears throat> we'll go from one extreme to the other. So using water to pump the mud out to pumping the water out clean and getting it as far away from here as possible and just drying out everything yep all right <laughs> but until then i'm sorry there hasn't been too much progress down with the hole i don't want to put the ply on the sides until i've got the hole dry you know because um, it would just ruin the ply and then that'll be weak and then you know be a bit dangerous if the ply is weak um it is i will just reassure you um this is incredibly heavy clay soil yeah so um it really does hold up very well when you dig a hole in it um uh, I've, I've, I'm not, you know, my shoring, my shoring up isn't beautiful, but it's, it's definitely good enough to cope with this clay, but which will make life easier when we get to the horizontal tunneling as well. But either way, I shall see you in the next video. Until then, ta-ra, folks. Bye bye.